What's up? What's up guys? So uh, welcome back to my channel and in today's video uh, what I'm going to do is talk about and show you guys how to buy stocks in M1 Finance. So in this video I can, I'll can i talk about two things. Uh, adding more stocks in your existing portfolio and uh, adding and buying more stocks in your portfolio. So th there are two different things and two different processes. So in this case I already have the Microsoft stock and I'm adding more shares in my portfolio so I'm adding I'm buying more of Microsoft stocks in this case so we want to what you want to do is you go uh, manage and click on buy and then put the amount that you want to put in for that stock and you want to continue and confirm the buy and you're done I'm buying more stocks in here so uh, uh, for my healthcare sector, I'm buying more 3M because why not? And uh, same process. I already have 3M under my healthcare sector pie. So I'm just, what I'm going to do is go to 3M and uh, click on manage pie on the bottom right and put in the amount I want to put in and confirm and buy it. And the other process, the other step you, you want to do if you want to buy a stock but that stock is not in your portfolio or your pie what you want to do is create a portfolio or go to the sector that that stock is that belongs in so for let's say you want to buy visa so you want to put that under the financial sector or if you want to buy walgreens go to the healthcare sector uh, Add Walgreens to your healthcare sector portfolio or pie, and then you want to buy Walgreens. And then, same process manage the pie and buy Walgreens stock. So, in this video, I, I, again, like I talked about buying an existing stock and buying a non existing stock, stock uh, by adding it into your portfolio and buying that specific stock so it took me a while to uh, uh, navigate through m1 finance but it's really fun it's really intuitive and I actually enjoy uh, reading about uh, m1 finance and different features that it offers on my next video I'm gonna talk about the different auto investing features that is available for M1 Finance but uh, for the, I'm going to talk about that in my next video for this video let's focus on the uh, buying options and that you can use that you can use to uh, buy more stocks or you want to add and buy more stocks so if you guys have any qu questions comments uh, comment down below I'll create a another video for the auto invest features that's available in m1 finance like i mentioned but this video is strictly about adding buy more buy more of your existing stocks and adding a stock and buy more of that specific stock and adding it into your portfolio so once you have get the grasp on uh, using m1 finance it's really fun and uh, it's really i think it's really addicting as well so yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know. See you guys on the next one.